Instagram. I'm trying really hard to focus some energy on Instagram. And I shared a story the other day when everyone was sharing their before their 10 year, what I looked like 10 years ago pictures. I shared what my life was like 10 years ago and what it's like now. And 10 years ago, I was leaving my ex-husband. My life was a mess, blah, 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 blah. I shared like, like details of what I went through. And, and then I shared it on Instagram. And this girl that I, she wasn't even following me. She must have followed a hashtag. She commented that her life is right now what mine was like 10 years ago. And we started messaging. And, you know, Nina and I did a call with her today. And she just texts us both that she's ready to join. So Boom. share your story. Share your story. Be consistent. Okay, guys, we're going to jump right into this training tonight just for the sake of time. And if you just joined the call, no. Um, Can I, I am... ask something to you, Ms. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. So he told Randy that she didn't have the money. Oh. Power of the three-way call. Right. Because remember, she was like, well, I really don't have the money to join and blah, blah, blah. But she's texting now like I'm ready to do this. So the power of the three-way call, getting someone else to, first of all, edify you and validate what you're doing, it turned her mind. She has the money. Awesome. She said people have the money. It's just whether they want to spend it with you or not. Right. Boom. Exactly right. I talked about that in Mexico that, you know, if somebody's balking about investing money, it's that they don't see a return. And one of the things we have to do is we need to show people how to make money. So tonight, uh, we are going to talk about this buy one, get one, the strategy behind it. And at the very end, I'm going to ask Nina and anyone else to come in and, and we're going to, we're huddling tonight, guys. This is all about you, your team and making money. Let me get everybody muted out. Okay, I think we're good now. Let me just double check. Why do we have an echo? Let me slip through. Okay. The team again. All right, guys. Money Mike's going to take off his costume. We're going to get serious now. But, you know, one of the reasons I did that is because, like I tell a lot of people, don't be ashamed to make money. It's actually your God-given right. We should be prospering for our families. And what I love about this buy one, get one, number one, right off the bat, everyone, is this is unlimited. Okay, when you look at the, the previous BOGOs, they were all capped. So that was news to me. I didn't find out till we were in Mexico. And we got really excited about that because uh, we have a lot of people that are looking to purchase some product for personal use or you know, to do some things that we're going to strategize tonight. But once again, the buy one, get one free, November 27th through the 29th at midnight on the wraps, the facials, defining gel, hair, skin, and nails, beauty works, the entire line, uh, carb control, which should be pretty awesome with Thanksgiving this week, and uh, lip and eye. So those are the products that are going to be available starting Wednesday morning. Free shipping, pretty exciting, on $75 or more for your customers. And obviously it's a little bit more for distributors, but this is going to drive a lot of customer volume, but don't forget to promote and get everyone excited about the fact that if they order $75 or more, obviously they're going to get double the amount of product and free shipping. So let's talk about the BOGO strategy. And like I said at the beginning of the call, guys, this is about you tonight. This is about a lot of uh, your team, obviously, but you have to start with you. So one thing I always tell people is take inventory of your personal group volume. We did this a lot with our, our leaders in Mexico that were strategizing, and they only have three products to choose from right now. But we looked at each individual mapping out, number one, for all of you on this call, take some inventory of where your volume is right now and utilize the charts. And I know many of you utilize the charts already, but uh, something you want to do tonight. And I don't care if you just started a week ago, a month ago, six months ago, it really makes no difference when you sit down and you map out exactly where you are in your business today, this second, this evening. Then you want to take inventory of the potential rank advancement. You know, where are you 
within the, the ranks right now. And at a minimum, you want to try to get back to the rank that you're, you're aiming to qualify for this month and every month, you know, or can you utilize the BOGO, you know, to pick it up, take it up one more notch, okay? So number three here is you want to identify your key legs that need volume, okay? So when you look at your chart, when you look at your whiteboard, when you look in your journal, you know, who on your team is struggling this month a little bit for volume. You know, this business, you can never really figure it out 100%. Some weeks, some months, you know, they will go up and down. But what I want you to look at tonight is exactly um, what legs in your chart, okay, need volume. That's a great place to start, okay? And then look at those legs and see who are, um, you know, the key leaders in those legs. And let's make some contact with them. I mean, that's why tonight, and by the way, guys, I'm, I'm going to record this. I'll get it out to the leaders, you know, maybe not for you to watch again, but maybe you're going to have some leaders that had to work tonight. They could not make the call tonight. And you can go ahead and share this with them as well. So identifying the key leaders in each of your legs and then work with them to strategize individually for their own BOGO options. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more as we go. <clears throat> What I call the sense of urgency and asking for help. We had a great, um, we had goal setting down in Mexico. We had a bunch of recruiting meetings and training meetings. But, you know, the one thing I learned many, many years ago from Jim Rohn is don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay. In other words, ask who on your team is going to rank up this month because that's going to help you rank up. But at the end of the day, they're actually helping themselves. And what I've learned in this process in my 24 years now in, in direct sales, network marketing, is that people typically, in most of, the, most of the time, they will work harder for you in your goals than they will for themselves. And I'm not sure I understand that uh, psychology 100%, but I've done it myself. And I've also asked people on my team for many, many years, you know, who wants to rank up because you're gonna help me rank up, et cetera. But don't be afraid to ask, share that energy with your team. And the one thing we identified here is to look at the BOGO for you Okay, and identify individually what products, like Brandy and I looked at the BOGO and said, okay, you know, what products are we using? And she gets mad at me all the time for the skincare. I guess I use too much when I, when I, whatever, what's that called? Which one? The one you yell at me for all the time? He has gone through, I think, two things of radiance and two things in repair, of repair when I've only gone through one. Well, it doesn't really tell me how much to use, but I do know that it works great and, and I love it, you know, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'll learn how much to use, but see, that was a great example. So, you know, us as a family, we have a large blended family. Um, we're looking at the BOGO for real for us, like what can we buy and save some money on? So do that individually and then also work with your team to do the same because that's just smart to save money on the products that we're personally consuming. Number two, review the different memes, okay? There's a ton of memes floating around. We get them from the Lifers Group. Uh, some of you have already made your own. We've made some, but, you know, let's keep in communication with everybody so we all have access to the memes. As many of you know, I'm not a real big social media guy, but I like the blitz, and I know when it's time to get intense, when it's time to build. The one thing I love to do is in-home meetings, and we'll talk about that tonight, but social media blitz and what we should be doing is working on lives we should be working on sharing of the memes okay sharing the before and afters and i'm seeing a lot of great activity uh, that i have to reference and and get ideas for myself so make sure that you're doing the same but you know take advantage of the social media energy now because even though it's a you know it seems like a couple days almost a day and a half before this BOGO is going to kick off, but really not, okay? You know, remember some people that are looking at your promotions and excitement tonight may not be in the buying mood until Thursday. They may not buy until Wednesday. So I know that the, the one person, Brandy, was just referencing that she did a call with Nina today that, that is now ready to sign up. They've been communicating for a few days. So is it appropriate to start blitzing right now, start promoting? I call it softening the beach landing. So absolutely. How much do you want to max out in the three days of this BOGO? Uh, the sooner you get started, the more, you know, people that I, I say you prep, okay, you soften the beach landing for when you're going to blitz for the three days of the entire BOGO. So you also want to have your leaders duplicate the same, get on a call. I'm telling you, sometimes having that cup of coffee, making that personal phone call, just that little bit of personal attention sometimes 
can make all the difference in the world, okay, for people to understand what you're going to do, what your goals are, and how they can get involved for themselves. We can all work together as a team. Obviously, we want to talk and communicate and encourage our leaders every single day. But again, going back to the beginning, every single one of you on the call, I know you have goals, uh, whatever ranks you've achieved, whatever ranks you're looking to achieve in November, that's what this is all about. How can we maximize, utilize this BOGO to take everything up one notch, okay? Get to the whole nother level, get to the next level. So here's some of the example memes. I'm not a big meme guy, but I do know that um, this is one of the, the ones that I think Brandy picked up off the Lifers group and uh, Nina has been sharing an amazing array of them, obviously in, in the groups, but find the memes that, that you like and let's start sharing these memes. There's multiple, you can put them in one post, whatever you want to do, but get with your sponsor and make sure that everybody's on the same page on what memes you want to use. Now let's talk about making money. Don't worry, I won't put my costume back on, but I love my costume because it reminds me of how important it is for all of us to make money, especially during the holiday season. So again, we wanna utilize the buy one, get one in November to rank up, okay? We wanna help our team rank up. And here's what's exciting. When you participate in a BOGO, you're gonna buy an extraordinary amount of product. You're gonna buy more product than you typically would. You're gonna spend a little bit more money than you typically would because why? You're getting everything you buy, you're getting another one free, which is smart. It makes economic sense for you and your family, for your own personal use. Don't worry about the excess inventory. The reason why is we're going to strategize as a team, our goal, is to have more in-home meetings in the month of December than ever before. Um, the power of in-home meetings, you know guys, I've been doing in-home meetings since I came out of the Marine Corps because I didn't know any different. My sponsor, who was my brother, you know, he taught me how to do in-home meetings and really he didn't teach me much. He just put me in front of people in living rooms and you know, said, hey, tell your story. There was no magic behind it. It wasn't complicated. I didn't have to put on a suit. I don't have to buy shrimp or steak. I mean, you can just throw some pretzels out. So whatever you want to do, you can make it as, as fun as you want. You know, a lot of people have uh, in-home meetings and they have a little party. They make it fun with friends and family and, you know, or girlfriends or whatever. Make it fun. In-home meetings are designed to duplicate. They are designed to be social and they are, this is most important, they cannot be complicated. So I tell a lot of people when it comes to an in-home meeting, it needs to be simple. And that way people see themselves doing what you're doing. So there's no, there's no format. There's no set strategy. I mean, really, it's the same thing we always do, but you get several people into a home. The only rule when it comes to in-home meetings that I've always shared, because it's always applied for me, is if I want five people to show up at my in-home meeting or my get together, um, I'm going to invite 10 to 15. If I want 10 to show up, I'm going to invite 25 to 30 because the numbers you know, they're never going to be perfect. And it's all about your mindset and your expectation. But December is going to be the in-home meeting month and you're going to have excess inventory. One of the goals that we have with, um, you know, in-home meetings is exposing people to what we do, obviously showing the 45 minute wrap. And I don't know if any of you followed Brandy and I down in Mexico, but you know, the one thing I love about the group of leaders that we work with in Mexico is all they know is to wrap. And I mean, they literally, every time you see pictures that I post from down there, I mean, people, they have their shirts up, they're wrapping live, even in hotel meetings. It doesn't matter where you go. There was somebody getting wrapped in the lobby. You know, they're wrapping, they're, they're taking before and after pictures, and they're showing the product in action. Okay, some of us here in America, um, I believe we take it for granted because we are home of the wraps. I mean, the wraps have been around. Many of us that have been in network marketing, I heard of the wrap. I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. I didn't understand it. I just assumed it was, you know, it works global, was about women, it was about wraps. And, and I was pretty much spot on because the company only had wraps for so long. But you know what? It's interesting. And I talked to a lot of leaders about this. I scratch my head. It blows my mind at how successful of a door opener that wrap is. So don't mistake the power of a wrap. Let's not take for granted the, the one single product that put this company on the map. And I know just coming back from a week in Mexico and all the meetings that we did, um, it was Rap City. Okay, so let's gear up. Every single one of you, I'm going to challenge you to have your own in-home meeting 
in the month of December. I know there's a lot going on with holidays and kids and Christmas parties, but it's no excuse. I mean, if we want big things to happen in 2020, we have to do a lot of that work now. In home meetings, your teams, your you know, your leadership, they're going to follow suit. So what I'm going to challenge everybody for December, let's do in-home meetings, let's post, let's share, let's create a lot of excitement because we're going to have excess inventory because we've got an awesome BOGO. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is converting some, you know, down in Mexico, I kept saying every day, pocket pesos, pocket pesos, but, you know, it's cash. There's so much retail cash in this comp plan. You know, I'm not a big fan of giving products away. So if, if I'm doing a party or I'm working with just a few people and they really want to wrap, I'm going to tell you something. They have to be my wife, okay, or a child of mine for me just to give one to. I'm going to sell that wrap 100% retail. So I highly recommend, you know, the one-off strategy. Why not put that cash in your pocket? If somebody just wants to try one or two wraps, sell it full retail. Let them know the benefits of being a customer. So you can start with retail wrap cash in your in-home meetings, um, any other products that you have obviously as well, but put that retail income in your pocket and then work on the conversion of a great retail uh, customer can become an amazing loyal customer. Once they fall in love with the product, give them a discount. We've got a lot of people that make an extraordinary amount of income right now every single month uh, just with the retail commissions of this comp plan. Uh, giveaways. We're going to have excess inventory. Let's talk about some things we can do for giveaways. There's a lot going on right now. Don't forget there's a, I think there's a couple different cash giveaways, you know, going on for in through Thanksgiving, but you can utilize your excess product to do some giveaways. You can also utilize it for a sampling campaign. Again, I'm not a big fan of giving a bunch of product away, but if you run a promotion and some people want to try it or the prospect is worth it, then yes. Uh, utilize the sampling campaign, but the best sampling, in my opinion, with the wraps is obviously a party because everyone can see it while they're trying other products. And let's not forget that your product purchases, uh, these are tax write-offs. So your business is going to be, uh, it's going to have some tax benefits as well. One of the concepts that we actually talk quite a bit about in Mexico, and this got so many people excited, is why not go on a campaign? Let's go on a push for many people that are doing this in their spare time, part time, having fun, you know, with this amazing culture, but let's focus on making a thousand dollars in the month of December. And I'm talking retail cash. Let me, let me just put your retail hat on for a second with money. Mike, I want you to really think about how important this is because retail cash. I think a lot of people are not realizing how much retail cash there is available because you got to remember one thing. When somebody sees the product and they want it, they may not be willing or ready to sign up as a distributor. They may not be willing or ready to be a loyal customer. But what I do know is that we're the type of people and we live in, in an economy where everybody wants things fast. So if they love it and they see it, take advantage of that emotion, okay? And for every 100 BV that you purchase through the BOGO, okay, or people on your team purchase, you're going to get obviously a duplicate amount of the product. So you're doubling your retail profit center during this BOGO, okay? That inventory becomes cash in your pocket. And that's very important to focus on because like I said at the very beginning of this call, guys, this is about you. This is about you and your team and how to maximize this BOGO strategy as we kick off in about, I don't know, 36 hours. So let me give an example, retail cash example. Let's say that you buy 10 wrap packs that's going to cost you about $590. Um, you're going to get, well, remember guys, we've got, we've got free shipping too. So when you get over the, the threshold, you're going to not have to worry about shipping, but you're going to receive 20 packs. You buy 10 packs, you're going to receive 20. So the math is pretty easy here. But your profit, if you move that product, is over $1,300 plus you're moving BV into your team, your teams, your leaders moving BV, which is very important for rank advancement, and everything else you do. So you could cut this number in half uh, and it still looks good and it still smells good. You can double this number, you can do whatever you want and you can obviously uh, replace this example with any product that we have. But what I want you to understand is that if you look at the pillars of our, our, our success and our comp plan, 
it starts with retail. Whether you're a retail person or not, it starts there. Loyal customers, distributors. So you've got like these different levels of people joining your business. So when you look at the retail cash example, my challenge for everybody is during this BOGO, let's get enough product for our personal use. Let's get enough product for our in-home meetings that we're all going to challenge and be accountable as a team, having fun, posting, sharing. You know, that energy is going to be really exciting with everybody, but you're going to have this excess inventory. Let's convert it into cash. Let's make retail profits and more retail profits than we ever have before with our excess inventory. That's also going to breed a lot of excitement with the new people that are joining because they will follow suit. One of the first things we always tell people to do when they join, besides go get your four customers and, you know, there's a lot of little things we can do, set up the in-home meeting. It's one of the most important things to do and they're going to have the extra product to do it as well. The other part of this for you is using the energy of the BOGO to recruit. I jumped on a three-way call this morning and I was talking to a gentleman who had been following uh, Brandy for some time and him and his wife, he said, point blank, we're looking for a side gig. We're looking for a side hustle. You know, he works full time. She's a nurse full time, um, but they're also entrepreneurs. And he said, you know what? I just want something we can build residually every single month. And we had this great conversation and I used the BOGO to recruit. And let me just explain real quick. Basically, I said, you're coming in at the most brilliant time, okay? This is like the perfect time. This is uh, timing 101 because you can join today. You can join tomorrow, okay, as a distributor and then 100% take advantage of this BOGO to stock up like you're opening a real store. Like how powerful is that? Could you imagine every single one of us on this call, I guarantee you know, most of us, we didn't join right before a BOGO. I kind of wish we did. And all of a sudden, it's like you need another reason to, to get off the fence and, and make a decision here to, to start building your business, your future. Take advantage of the BOGO. So utilize the BOGO for recruiting. Very powerful. I did it today by accident. I was just having a normal conversation, remembered the BOGO, and said, you know what? If I were you, this is what I would do. And I'd get some extra products. So now you've got more for you and your family you've got some to sample and share and to host um, your first in-home meeting. So with that, I'm going to jump out quickly because I know I'm talking quite a bit here. There's so many people on this call that um, are just crushing it, but I want to find, you know, hold on one second here. There we go. Nina, I think I've unmuted you. I'd love to hear some of your feedback and energy so far just on the pace that we're on here tonight and the excitement behind what's going on with the unlimited BOGO, first of its kind. Oh, well, I want to thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm so excited about this particular BOGO, maybe because it's unlimited, maybe because we've had BOGOs before, but they've always been like maybe what, one or two products. Um, never anything like what I'm seeing right now. So thank you, <coughs> Mike, for putting this together. Um, and you know what? What you've showed is just the retail cash. You haven't even showed what can show up in the in the check. Because this, if we move this order, which is the little more technical stuff, if we move this order underneath a rep that has bodies there, then we're talking about a double whammy. So we're talking yes. about what you're going to earn residually as well as what you're going to earn um, in profits. And like you said, the best thing to do is get some people, get some people together. Don't make it like a um, an opportunity meeting. Make it like a wind down Wednesday, <laughs> you know, or make it like a um, a tantalizing Thursday, a tasty Thursday, or you know something like that. Um, remember that the wraps do have a detox property to them, and after Thanksgiving, people are going to need to do what? Wrap. <laughs> they're going to need to wrap. They're going to need to detox, right? Have a detox party. Have a purge Thanksgiving dinner party, mm -hmm. right? And I invite like people over seriously to get, because I, I, I don't know about you all, but we go through a lot of product in my home anyway. Um, so I don't even know if most of my stuff would make it to retail. <laughs> but <laughs> it really wouldn't. We go through a lot That's of product great. here. But to know that I can get double double the whammy for my for my money, it just makes sense. And you know, when you said something earlier, when you were um, using the conversation with your prospect, and you kind of did it by accident, 
same way that I kind of prospected the young lady from Philadelphia here that's running for state representative. And we started talking. She wants to go. She wants to make sure she loses some weight. Why? Because she's going to be in the what? In the public eye. Yeah. She needs to lose some weight. And then she said to me, Nina, the only fear that I have is that I won't be able to afford, listen to the language. I won't be able to afford the products because I'm going to have to quit my job to run for office. Mm. She opened the door for me to say, well, you're going to need these products. Why not at least let me show you how to build a small team to cover your products? Yeah. At least to cover the amount that you need for the package that you're going to need every month to get fit because you're running for office. She came back to me and said, wait a minute. No, I need to earn some money. Yeah. So can you show me how to earn some money? So when we're thinking about the people that we're prospecting and talking to, you're probably like, oh, they're state representative. They're not going to want to hear what I've got to say. Oh, they're a city councilman. They're not going to want to hear what I've got to say. They're broke. They just ran for office. And if they're running for office, there's no money. And what we've got to do is teach them how to use their influence. Teach people how to use their influence to do what? To turn that into profit, right? And so your net worth will, your net work will determine your net worth. And if we keep just talking to Poo Poo, Pookie and Ray Ray and them and thinking that they're going to be like our, our, you know, your triple diamond and your, you know, that's not what's going to happen. But don't be afraid to start prospecting up, especially when people can see that they're going to get double their money. Yeah. yeah. Double their money. People with good sense can see, wait a minute, so I'm going to spend this, but I'm going to get all, all of this. It just makes sense. So it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, it's doing the work for you. There's no heavy prospecting in this, especially with the money that we're giving away right now. Um, and, and I will tell the people that are on this call right now, we've said Thanksgiving day was going to be the day that we were going to draw. We're going to wait until probably Thanksgiving morning and say, you know what, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we're going to give everybody, um, everybody, uh, till, till noon black Friday, because there's a lot of people that getting, that are getting paid on Friday. So we do not want to miss the traffic that we could have, but make people think that they've got to get their orders in right now and use some leverage like, well, hey, we'll give you two entries if you become a loyal customer. We'll give you five entries if you become a, a distributor. You got to kind of make, be creative and use, use yep. um, fear of loss and use things like, hey, start posting some before and after drip, pictures dripping on people and say, oh my gosh, one rep mm -hmm. is a treat. But four reps is a treatment. But imagine that you could pay me $100. Listen to the language. You can pay me $100 for four reps or get eight for 59. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do? You think they're going to spend $100 with you or they're going to get eight for 59? So you got to start showing them how they're saving. What's the benefit for them? Well, Buying a skincare set at one thirty nine, getting two for one thirty nine is a two hundred percent profit because you sell the other skincare set for two hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. You spend one thirty nine, sell the other one for two fifty. That's um, look, do the math, do the math. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time right now. That and guess what? If you don't sell it all then it becomes Christmas gifts for people. <laughs> you know, we, we talked about that down in Mexico. I want to jump in there because it was almost as simple, Nina, and you know this and everybody listening, as making a decision. You know, so I had a lot of people in Mexico and what, what made me throw this together in a PowerPoint because I like things to be very Dr. Seuss in my life, just very simple. But I had a lot of people that said, hey, you know what? Show me how to use the BOGO to rank up. Show me how to use this BOGO to take the next step before November closes. So number one, I'm going to say that's the right attitude to have is to utilize and take advantage of this for your, you know, it, it's a little bit like being selfish, but we have to do that sometimes for ourselves, which is going to help the team. You know, it's almost like reverse psychology, but we talked about this, Nina, <clears throat> you just have to make a decision. Every single one of us, you make a decision 
how to use this entire strategy, what's best for you. Um, I equate it to no different than driving down the highway and somebody almost bumps into your car or somebody, all of us have been in a situation where you're like, oh my gosh, you know, something can happen on the highway or you have to like swerve around something on the highway. But none of us are taking out the driver's manual to read how to do that during the moment. There's not much to think about. You just do it. And so when we're in this situation, what I tell people mentally, we don't need to read. We don't need trainings. Like tonight's really just an overview. We need a plan. Okay. So tonight I want to wrap up with this amazing question for you, you know, for all of you on this call, what is your plan? And if you go back to what we said at the beginning, when you identify where you are in your business, when you identify where your team, your leaders are, your plan becomes very clear. It's very, it's simple because you know exactly where the weak links are, you know exactly where the volume needs to go, and you can work with your team to strategize and implement over the next two, three, four days to get it done. So make that decision. It doesn't take long. You pretty much know exactly what you want to achieve, what you want to accomplish. But I think my biggest point tonight, Nina, is that we forget about that retail profit center. And let's put that on top. And you're exactly right. We're not even talking about BV. We're not talking about fast starts. We're not talking about coded bonuses. We're not talking about anything tonight, but you know, just utilizing the, bo the BOGO and adding another thousand dollars to your bottom line, to your family in retail, because it's right in front of you. Any last comments or closing comments here tonight? <clears throat> and you know what, though, for those family members of yours that don't want to support you or whatever, have any of you seen where people bring to work their children's um, cookie sheets and pizzas and cards and all kind of stuff that they're, get a catalog, print it out, send it to people with, to their jobs and say, hey, can you do a catalog party for me? Right, you've got the product already. If you do a catalog party for me, I'll give you X, Y, and Z products, right? You can print out the catalog right from your e-suite. It is printable. Go to the e-suite and go to the printable documents, print out the catalog and ask people, hey, okay, you, it's okay. I, you don't have to support me, but could you take this to your job and work a catalog party from it, right? So that's kind of like having an in-home meeting but while somebody's at work, hey, I need you. This is, the, this is the time of year when people are spending money. I promise you they are. And I'm going to tell you something. When I was in the salon, my, my girlfriend was in a um, network marketing company that was art. I was not in the company. She was in the company. But Mike, let me tell you what I did. I earned myself a whole trip on day trip, right? I was a hairstylist in the salon. She just said, Nina, can you do these? Can you do a catalog party for me? And I was like, what is that? She said, well, you can win free art. I said, oh, I had just moved. I had just gone through my divorce. I had nothing on my walls. I can win free art? Sure. Sure, I'll do it. I took the catalog and just had everybody in my chair looking at everybody in everybody else's chairs, looking at the products. Hey, see what you want. I'm closing out. And I told them I'm closing this party out on next Thursday. So you need to get your orders in. And then I started seeing that, I mean, my parties were two and $3,000, right? So I said, okay. She said that we're going to, we're going to Cancun. I said, what I got to do to win that trip? And all I did was kept working catalog parties. And, and then I had my clients taking the catalog to their jobs. Oh, okay. You don't want to support me? No problem. You have to buy a thing from me, but I need you to take this catalog to your job and get me some sales. Make it all about one particular product. Make yeah. them take some wraps, some packs of wraps. Buy some wraps and say, can you take these? Here are the, print out some eight by tens or five by sevens of the before and after pictures right through CVS or Walgreens or where, Walmart on those photo machines, right from your phone. It doesn't take a rocket. You don't have to have rocket science to do this, right? So that they can take these before and after pictures and say, now show these pictures and I need you to sell these wraps from it. Yeah. And you know what? I want to add one thing because <clears throat> that was awesome uh, for the men on the call and for all of you, you know, with men on your team that are out there building or those that are building with their spouse. You know, what I've done from the beginning of time for me, you know, if I'm in a relationship, obviously, I've, I've also built the industry single. But when I look at how I utilize my conversations with other men that I'm connected or friends with, 
is I'm always promoting Brandy. I'm always promoting that she's got this special going. And, you know, sometimes as a guy, I can take advantage of that because I have a lot of good friends that I know need our products, but I'm not going to just kind of dive in there and sell it to them. I'm going to say, look, Brandy's got a promotion on this right now. It's a buy one, get one. You told me you want to lose some weight. You told me you love some coffee, blah, blah, blah. But I utilize the, you know, the power of Brandy to our advantage. So don't be afraid to do that because it just lightens the conversation. It makes it a little bit more indirect. But for me, Nina, I've, I've mastered this over the years because I like to be comfortable with certain men that I'm talking to that I know when they know that Brandy's got a promotion, you know, he doesn't have to buy it to help Mike. He's actually going to buy it to help Brandy. So it goes back to that psychology we were talking about before. But men, it's time for us to get aggressive. You know, with this BOGO, um, if some of you have noticed, I've been sharing more on social media. Sometimes Brandy will hack my phone and, and share things for me because I'm not a real big social media guy. I love it for personal growth. I love to get caught up in life, watch my friends succeed, blah, blah, blah. But I'm learning how to use my social media the best I can. And I am shocked at the fact that I'm enrolling customers more. And I'm not a customer guy. You know that about me. I'm, I'm all about opportunity. I love to sell the dream. But if, if Mike can sell customers, imagine what you can do. And it just took a little bit of effort, Nina. And then I utilize my relationship you know, with good friends and people I'm connected to and say, hey, help Brandy out. She's got a huge promotion going. She's trying to lock up four or five new customers. Let's go. Right. So you can also make this about if you have people that are under you already on your team, physical reps that are under you, you can start saying, hey, I'm trying to help the reps on my team. You know, I'm trying to help them um, get their customers in. If you don't feel good about asking for help for yourself, ask for it for other people. Exactly. Ask Great for it for point. other people. All right. Does Do any questions? Do you have any questions? Yeah, let me uh, unmute the lines here. We've got a lot of people on here, but if you have a question, you can jump in the chat box or, well, first of all, let me unmute. It might get loud. I'm going to have to mute again, but we'll try it. And then, so what are you going to even have? Right. Anybody have any questions tonight they want to ask? Yeah, what are you going to do? Tomorrow, too? Tomorrow too? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people in there? I mean, we don't know what's right. Somebody got to get me. Yeah, free class. <laughs> Go ahead and mute that out again. If anybody has any questions, just go. Oh, there we go. Offering free product. Uh, goes to party people like free and it's still, it's a great. Uh, so Jennifer sharing that with everybody. That's great. Jennifer, let me unmute. Let's, let's, uh, let's hear more. I like that. Let me find you here real quick. Hey, Jennifer, I, I unmuted you. If you don't mind, would you mind sharing more in that comment? Yes, I am big for people like free. And so and I'll say, you know what, I know you were interested in this, especially for those people who like to say, well, I can't afford it, or I don't have the money. And I'll say, okay, find me two or three people who'll do it. And I'll give you yours for free. I mean, it's a win win. Oh. So you offer them a free wrap, or you offer them a free hair, skin and nail or a free whatever. And they in order for them to get it for free, they either host a party for you, do the, the catalog challenge or just refer two or three people to you who actually do become a loyal customer and then you give them that free product. And so definitely make sure you have product on hand is big for that. And you don't have to be one to constantly give for free, but especially during BOGO, during crunch time, when you're looking to push for a promotion, that this is huge to say, hey, I know you were interested in this and it wasn't a good time for you, but do you know two or three people who may be ready to get it and I'll give you yours for free? That's awesome. No, thanks for sharing it. You know, you just reminded me of, of two quick things I think are good to share on this call. Number one, uh, Brandy and I gave my oldest daughter, uh, Alexis, who's a senior in high school. She turns 18 in January, but um, she complained about her hair, her skin, and her nails. And it's basketball season now, so she's, she's always complaining about all of that, right? She's enjoying her senior year, but at the same time, she's like, my split ends, dad, you wouldn't understand. So we gave her a bottle and she's been on the product for two, three weeks. She's loving the results. And so what you just reminded me of, on, and your, your great testimonial there and sharing that wisdom with everybody, is that sometimes it's worth it to identify a few people. Because I told my daughter, and she's my daughter, I said, listen, when you get the results that you're in love with, we're going to do before and after pictures every week. 
and we're going to take the best ones. I need you to share that on, on Instagram because all of her friends and following are turning 18, graduating, some are in college and, you know, it's, it's business 101. So I was utilizing, you know, that success story. Now, is that going to be worth it for me to give my daughter a bottle of hair, skin and nails? Well, absolutely. She's my daughter. But at the same time, I know the power of Instagram and that younger generation, uh, which I just don't have access to except through sometimes my kids. The second thing you just reminded me of, and I want to share because I talked a lot about this in some training down in Mexico, is the importance of follow-up. There's so many people that we have that we've talked to months ago, weeks ago, days ago, hours ago, you know, and sometimes, believe it or not, people are just busy. I mean, think about how many times, every single one of you on this call, think about how many times you looked at something in a store, you looked at something on your phone, you jumped on Amazon or whatever, and you know that you want it, you know that you're going to buy it, but something happens. Somebody called, somebody walked in the house, or you're at work, or something happens. We are all built the same, and you'd be amazed at how many people we follow up with. We did a power hour, Nina, in, uh, in Mexico. We were down in Morelia, and we were teaching some of the Mexico leaders how to do power hours, and they're, they're just fascinated because they're not really big on social media, but they were all running around making their calls, and you know how the drill goes, and they were having fun. But what was interesting is that Brandy had to reach out to three or four people that she suggested everybody did. And one of our mutual friends, the first thing he said to Brandy, he says, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. He was like, I've been so busy with this kid. So he actually was going to buy the other day, life interfered, he got busy. Brandy's text reminder, which came from a power hour, was really, she was leading by example, but she, we were both surprised. I mean, he was like, thank you. Cause I completely forgot and he wants to get carb control. That was what was what got his attention. So anyway, awesome. Uh, that was great. You sharing that you stimulated a few more thoughts for me. Let me bring Nina back on here and see what other comments we have. If you have questions, guys, just throw them in the chat. Listen, it's, it's crunch time. You know, I haven't slept much in a week. I've been doing meeting after meeting, driving all over Mexico. It's hot. The van we were in didn't have air conditioning, but we showed up and one of, one of the meetings we had, Nina, 40 guests were there, another meeting, 25 guests, and you know, you're tired, but this is that time uh, to build. This is the time, like I said, in-home meetings next month. This is that, that grind time. This is that hustle time, and as tired as I am, I'm so excited. I've never been in, involved with the BOGO that was unlimited, so that's why tonight was all about how do we use it to our advantage. Yeah, I, I've scheduled a bo um I've scheduled a pop up for Friday, um in a in that same salon that I um was working at before because I scheduled it purposely because I knew the bogos were coming out, um <clears throat> and I want to be able to I got some some LCs on the spot you know at the bogo before, um the fortune is in the follow up but it's in the immediate follow up. Here's what you got to understand about sales and numbers. You, you know, sometimes you get upset when somebody doesn't pull the trigger one time when the average person needs seven to 12 exposures to a product or, or a service before they'll purchase it. It's all psychological and it's all a numbers game. And you may be sitting there saying, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to reach out to her again because I don't want to feel like I'm bothering her. I don't want to feel like I'm, pest, you know, pestering her. But guess what? There are times that I get caught up and forget to make a purchase or to do something that someone asked me to do. And they'll send me a reminder, hey, Nina, you know, did you get to do X, Y, and Z? And I'm like, oh my God. Because there are times I'll pick up my phone to go do something and it'll ring. Yeah. It'll ring and I'll forget. And, by, and then it'll ring and then something else will happen. And then somebody else will send a text. Then Paige will start, mom, mom, mom. Then, you know, it's time to get her off to school. And, then, and life begins to happen and you forget and you don't intentionally forget. But then you're thinking, well, I don't want to bother that person. So I'm not going to bother them because, I mean, you know, if they wanted to purchase, they would have already. You've taken it personal. You've taken it personal, and you got to put your business hat back on. Get your yeah. emotions out of it and put your business hat on. Right, because somebody else will come behind you. Guess what? That you don't follow up with, somebody else will get, guess what? Somebody else will come behind and have your customer. I have a rep today that reached out to me and said, Nina, I just found out that my cousin is already in your team. Did y'all hear that? I just found out my cousin already in your team. Now I'm going to reach out money, to her. That was a money tip. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't get, how many of your, let's be honest. Do all your neighbors know that they can get a bag of coffee from you? Do all your neighbors know? 
Let me tell you something. I keep telling Paul, I think I want to move out of this house and move into an apartment building. Just so I can have doors to knock on. <laughs> right? So you have to understand it. You're thinking you're pestering people. I, I promise you, this is going to be a huge week for everybody, right? And not just a huge week. We're going to close out the month strong, but then we're going to open up the month in an insane kind of way, right? On Monday with Cyber Monday. So let's get through this week. Get yep. through these bogos that have started today. They slipped that one in on, on, on us, right? That um, The Confianza now has calcium added to it. So that BOGO is live right now. Is the BOGO upon the retail price or they must sign up as an LC? Oh, you asking me? Um, that's the read there available. Is the bo are the BOGO prices available for retail or must they sign up as an LC to get it? Yeah, I think it's... Um... I thought it was just LC and distributor, but that's a great so, question. I think it's just LC and distributor because retail are paying full price. Anyway, yeah. You've got to, in order to get the BOGO deal, you've got to be a loyal customer because it's 40% off. So that's the yeah. answer to that. It is just for loyal customers, but they're also getting free shipping. $75 and reps are going to get free shipping on anything $125 or more. So that's yeah. huge too. Sell the free. Here's another thing that you guys want to, you know, there are some people, because I told them with our contest, hey, you'll get three points if you become a loyal customer. You'll get one point if you purchase retail, but you'll get five points if you become a distributor. And now I've got more people interested in becoming the distributor. Because they're going to get five points. I mean, five entries in our $250 um, drawing. So because they're going to get five entries, instead of being a loyal customer, they're like, I think I want to be a business partner. Yeah. <clears throat> It's all marketing, people. It's all marketing. If you don't understand some marketing tactics, go to YouTube and look up great social media marketing methods. I promise you, it's all marketing. So let's take out, think about how Coca-Cola's marketing right now. Think about how Nike's marketing right now. Macy's, Lord & Taylor, all of those stores are marketing by giving you big deals. Yep. Yeah. Big deal. So for one hour, I'm giving away a free blah, 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 blah for anybody who does X, Y, and Z. It could be five packs of greens. It doesn't have to be a whole bottle of something. I'm, you're giving them five keto energy if they purchase blah, 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 right? And then you're going to get into our, you're going to be in our drawing and you only had to pay $10 to go towards the $250 cash prize. Um, and if we collected more than $250, we would give whatever we collect. So, you know, people, people are starting to see that we're giving away this money. Use that yeah. leverage to get people in. All right. I think well, I'm yeah, you're, you're awesome. And, you know, great tips tonight, everybody. I'm going to leave everyone with uh, one final thought. You know, it's something I picked up years ago from a gentleman in a different company, but he had, I think at the time, a couple hundred thousand people in his total group on auto ship. And, you know, he shared with me one day, he said, you know, the, what he taught and what he had literally learned from day one, he just didn't realize it until about 10 years in the industry, you know, was the old philosophy of retailing, recruiting and retaining your business. And if you look at that concept tonight, we sometimes bypass retail commissions. Remember what we said earlier, we want to help everybody make extra retail commissions, but retailing and loyal customers and in general, okay, that will turn into recruiting. Your best customers at some point in time become amazing distributors. That's one thing it took me years to remember. What I love about what we have right now is, again, we're, we're softening the beach landing. I'm going to send this recording out to all the leaders. If you need to watch it again, if you want to have your leaders watch this and, and just get the information so they can strategize, we've got through tomorrow and then boom, Wednesday through Friday, if you need help on um, power hours, let us know. We're working straight through Thanksgiving. We might stop to eat an amazing meal, visit with some family and friends, but there's so much time in the next three days, we'll make ourselves available. You guys have an awesome night, and I'll send the link out, Nina, to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Money Mike. All right, guys. Have All right, a great night. Let's crush night. it, you guys. Let's crush it. <laughs> let's do it.